Welcome to the final video of the fourth module on international arbitration. In this video, we will explore a prominent case, the Yukos case, to show the complexity of arbitral proceedings, especially when the procedure involves a state. Yukos was Russia's largest company in the oil and gas sector. In 2006, Yukos went bankrupt following several tax redress procedures initiated by Russian authorities. Three of Yukos shareholders commenced arbitration proceedings against Russia as a consequence. The claim brought by the shareholders was based on the infringement of investment protection provisions contained in the Energy Charter Treaty, such as unlawful expropriation and arbitrary, unfair and discriminatory treatment by the Russian Federation. In July 2014, an arbitral tribunal operating under the UNCITRAL arbitration rules and established under the auspices of the PCA issued three awards, one for each case. The tribunal found that the claimants were indeed indirectly expropriated and that Russia had breached its obligation under the Energy Charter Treaty. Russia was ordered to pay 50 billion US dollars to former shareholders as compensation. The amount of the award is the largest amount ever awarded in investment treaty arbitration. The Russian Federation initiated setting aside proceedings before the Hague District Court. The case was brought in The Hague because the seat of the arbitration was the Netherlands. Russia requested the court to annul the awards in the Yukos cases. After several rounds of pleadings, the Hague District Court indeed annulled the awards based on the lack of jurisdiction of the arbitral tribunals. It considered that Russia had in fact not agreed to arbitrate such disputes. The case was immediately appealed by the Yukos shareholders. And in 2017, the case was still pending before the Court of Appeal in the Netherlands. In the meantime, several enforcement proceedings were being pursued, Russia having not voluntarily compensated the claimants as requested by the award. It indeed refused to do so as it considered the awards to be invalid, a claim that has been successful in first instance. Enforcement proceedings were brought in France, Belgium and the United States, amongst others. Under Article 5 1e of the New York Convention, when an arbitral award has been set aside in the country in which the award was rendered, recognition and enforcement may be refused. You should note that the Convention uses the word may, not shall. Enforcement proceedings have as a consequence been stayed in several states, such as Belgium, because of the setting aside of the awards by the Hague District Court. However, France has a different perspective and has a long-standing jurisprudence which allows enforcement proceedings despite a pending setting aside procedure. Although the awards have been set aside at the seat of arbitration, it does in France not constitute a ground for refusing recognition and enforcement of foreign arbitral awards. France considers that an arbitral award is delocalized, or international if you prefer, and is not integrated in the law of the seat of arbitration. French courts will only refuse the enforcement of an arbitral award if the award has been set aside in France. It is of the opinion that recognition and enforcement of an award will fully depend on the law of the state where recognition and enforcement is sought. A key issue in the proceedings before the French courts, because the enforcement proceedings continue, concerns Russia's assets in France. The first question is whether or not the assets found in France constitute assets of the Russian Federation. And the second question is whether or not the assets can be used to enforce the awards. Russia has invoked its immunity from execution in various enforcement proceedings in France, but also in Belgium and the United States. The immunity has been upheld for example in France, where Yukos had attempted to seize a cultural center in Paris, which was owned by Russia and under construction. The Paris Tribunal considered that the building was covered by immunity, as it was owned by Russia in its sovereign capacity. In this video, we have discussed the Yukos case, an important case in international arbitration. From this case, you have learned that even though the award has been set aside in the state of the seat of arbitration, it can still be enforced in other states, such as France. Other states, on the contrary, will stay enforcement measures. The Yukos case clearly shows the difficulty in enforcing foreign arbitral awards, especially when states are involved. This video also concludes the last module of this online course. 
Dr. Julia Pinzauti and myself hope that you have benefited from this course and that you have enjoyed exploring the main principles and the practice of international arbitration with us.